hello guys welcome to how to fix stack in this video guys we are going to fix the issue ethernet does not have a valid ip so why you are getting this issue so dhcp is responsible for obtaining an ip and it distributes the ip to the host computers so that you can connect with the outward network okay so now we need to troubleshoot this issue so first of all we need to go to the network property okay and we will enable and disable the network adapter card so go to here icons okay go to network and settings go to change adapter options okay if you are if you don't want to go like this you can press window plus r button together and type here nc just a wait nc a dot cpl like this and hit ok once you hit ok you will get directly the access to this ok now the ethernet cable you need to right click on the ethernet cable and disable it what will happen after you disable it it will refresh all the settings and after that re-enable this option okay re-enable this option attempting to authenticate and try to connect with the network okay one thing you can also do is go to network properties and we need to make sure that if any manual IP is configured on our network so go to network internet protocol version 4 go to its properties and make sure the automatic IP is configured here like this obtain an IP automatically if this option is not working you need to do is close this and again go to its properties and we will try the google dns so that we can directly get the dns from the google here okay use the following dns server automatically you need to type for 8.8.8.8 and alternative dns it is also the secondary dns of google 8.8.4.4 and okay once you apply this click on ok click on close and once this is done check if your issue is solved or not and if you are getting the ip or not if still not getting the ip you need to right click on the ethernet cable like this is the adapter now we need to click on diagnose okay this will try to detect the problem and this will automatically try to resolve your issue now you can see resetting the ethernet 3 resolving problems verify the network configuration is resolved it will automatically do all the things so now we need to wait and let it finish its work now you can see ethernet does not have a valid IP configuration now we need to close this option okay and we need to go to the device manager to check our network driver is ok or not now we need to look for network adapters ok and look for ethernet you can see here this option ethernet right click on that and go to update search automatically it will not work since you are not connected with the network click on browse my computer let me pick from a list of available drivers click on this option latest one next close once the installation is done you need to restart your system after that check if your issue is solved or not okay if still not solved we can hit some commands here go to cmd right click on it and run it as administrator click on yes button when the prompt opens and we need to type this command ip config space slash plus dns and hit ok once you hit ok you will successfully flush the dns you can see here the options now what you need to do is you need to again restart your system after that and your issue will be fixed if these methods are not working on your windows you need to make sure that you have the correct driver if not 
you can go to google browser or use other computer and insert it to the pen drive or something else or you can portable it you can through like teethering you can also do and you can also install the driver after that the last option left is reset the network so go to search bar type a reset network network okay network reset now you can see network status go to this option and after that go to this option network reset and click on reset now click on this option and click on yes button after that restart your system and your issue should fix if applying these method still you have issue you can restart your router plug all the cables and restart it and leave it for 30 seconds and it will work okay and also you need to check the ethernet cable as well whether the ethernet cable is okay or not you can change that okay so this is how you can troubleshoot this issue hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then don't forget to like this video and subscribe our channel so thank you thanks for watching how to fix